Kia ora, Wim here. This and this is the new multiplayer RCI system for Combat Box. For people new to the channel, Combat Box is a multiplayer server for the World War II air combat sim IL-2 Sturmovic Great Battles. And for several months now, Combat Box have been developing a new multiplayer dynamic campaign called Apollo. And in the most recent alpha test of Apollo, they added a new feature, RCI, or Radio Control Intercept. RCI is sort of a simulation of those big map tables that were used in the war to organise their defence. Basically the idea is to have a player looking at this screen and passing on information to friendly pilots on SRS, helping them intercept or evade enemy aircraft. If you've used the GCI system in DCS, this is really similar to that, but it's intended to simulate the less sophisticated radar systems available during World War II. And I really have to just say, the Combat Box team have delivered something absolutely amazing here. It's like good enough that it should really be in the core game. I figure it helps just to see it all in action, so I've recorded a short video of me doing the RCI thing when a few of my mates from the 332nd were on, uh, Kami, AP and Zulu. And just by the way, I've edited this so you're only really going to see me interacting with Kami and his flight. Um, I was actually talking to everyone on the map, I've just edited it this way so it's easier to follow what's going on. So, at the time I jumped on, Kami and the rest of Falcon Flight were murdering a poor defenceless Heinkel. So I'll pick up the video there. That's my team. Uh, what uh, heading? Uh, let's head again, uh, one, two, zero. We'll continue towards our uh, Arkin. All flight speed advice. We have two enemy attackers trying to loop around the south by Monchau. Uh, they're at 18,000 feet. Falcon Flight, if you're able to vector 220, you should be able to intercept those enemy attackers. I also have enemy fighters to the east of you, highest contact at 12,000 feet, about 15 kilometers away. Falcon Flight, I have a contact. Merging with me off of my 3 o'clock now. Just off the clouds. That is a friendly fighter you merged with at 16,000 feet. Moving northwards now. Yep, that's a friendly. Yep, is our picture looking good for instant one? Yep. You could probably hit a little bit more direct southerly even, maybe it, make it more like 210. Twenty thousand. Okay. Uh, AP, I've got to contact our nine o'clock co out. Tally. Just return into him. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Val, can I show you okay. merging with enemy attackers? Your nine o'clock. Co out or slightly above. Found copies, we got Tally on a contact, our 9 o'clock, intercepting. Tally on the contact. I'm going to break a little bit of break here. Now for Colorado. AP, let's just go hit on. Yep, I'm going to be nice, yeah, quick hit on. Yeah, let's go. I'm through. Recommend some of you stay up. There's a second Arado behind him. How's he stay high? That second Arado should be just to the right and behind of the uh, one you're engaging. Contact, got him. Hits on the Arado, hits on the Arado, guys. Okay. Flight pilot sniper. 
Grid 2514. Thank you. If you vector zero five zero, you should find enemy fighters over Arkham. Showing multiple friendlies in the vicinity of Herlene. I have three enemy fighters over Julek between 6,000 and 4,000 feet. Okay, so I hope that gave you the gist of how RCI works. I think you probably figured out a lot of how this all works just watching that video, but I'll run through it all because I know people are curious about this system. So you can see I've got a bunch of contacts on the screen and the picture will update about every 10 seconds or so. You can see the radar stations themselves here and these circles are the limits of their range. I can't see anything flying outside of these circles. These radar stations are actually physical objects in the game and their location gets revealed over the course of each mission. So you can go and destroy these and that will limit your team's visibility to the enemy RCI. So for each contact, you'll notice I get a bit of information. I get the altitude, I get the target type, fighter, attacker, bomber, and each contact also leaves a trail of its previous radar positions, and from that, you can kind of work out its heading and a rough estimate of its speed, a very rough estimate of its speed. You'll see I also have IFF information, so whether it's a friend or an enemy, and you'll notice some of the friendly contacts have call signs. This corresponds to the call sign the player has selected using channel two on the combat box SRS, and if you want to interact with the RCI, you really need to request a call sign first, because otherwise it's just impossible to tell who I'm talking to and where they are. You'll also notice some contacts, um, like these ones up on the top left, are marked unknown. So this is the RCI system acting to simulate the limitations of 1940s radar. So if a contact is changing directions or altitude quickly, the radar will struggle to see it. So I'll lose information about its altitude or target type or its IFF information, and it may just completely vanish from the radar completely. 
aircraft can also fly beneath the radar. How low you have to fly to stay off the scope can kind of vary based on how far you are away from the actual physical radar. So when you're deep over enemy lines, you really need to be right on the deck to stay hidden. So anyway, the job of the RCI operator is to talk to friendly pilots on SRS, let them know the bandits that are nearest to them, call out threats, just generally help with situational awareness. And it unlocks all kinds of cool gameplay, like I've actually tried acting as the controller for a big flight of level bombers and their escorts, trying to vector the fighter onto bandits before they get into range of the bombers. And that was awesome, I wish I recorded it, um, but I didn't. If you think you'd like to give this a go, if you think you'd make a good RCI, you probably would. You'd probably do a better job than me. Um, just ask on the Combat Box Discord. It is limited. You had sort of an invitation-only thing, just because there is potential for people to sort of game this thing, to abuse it. Um, so there are some rules that they want people to follow and to limit access. But if you want to do that, um, get in touch with the admins on the Combat Box Discord. I'll leave a link below. And yeah, hope to see you all in the next alpha.